forgive me uh, my voice I'm sick so um, I wanted to show you guys a part of a costume that I'm creating for one of the shoots that I'm doing um, it's the Broadway creative shoot that um, I created where I will turn one of the models into something from Broadway so it could be either cats wicked any uh, Wizard of Oz, things like that. So one of the costumes, of course, I um, just wanted to give it a try to see if I can create. And I created the cat's costume. Well, part of it for right now. Um, I'll show you the rest later. But it took me two days to create the wig and the tail, which is extremely long and nice and fluffy. So here's the wig here. Um, you can see the little ears and everything. see the back of it that's the back there it's like a calico cat of course and um, the colors are burgundy and white and gray so yeah um, it came out really good the tail extremely long it took me a little bit longer than I thought it would um, but I really like it I can't wait to show you guys the rest of it Hi everybody, so this is a last minute decision, so I'm actually shooting with my camera on my phone, which my phone really sucks, the quality on this camera is horrible, um, but I wanted to add this to one of the vlogs that I had already done with me creating um, the first part of this costume. So I'm doing a Broadway musical inspired theme um, shoot, and there are nine different models that we have and one of the costumes is cats so at the beginning of this you will actually see um, I've already created the wig for the costume and the tail for the costume I'm gonna try to show you real quick my office is not clean and I really hate it when people's area is not clean but mine's not clean because I'm being creative today so here is the wig right here it just needs some spray so we can get it to mold itself so that's all I need to do for that and then here is the tail right here here are all the other costumes that are already done um, and so this is the tail and it's extreme it's very very long um, here is the leotard that I will be using and it I'll be painting it actually tomorrow um, it's really late and I just this is just a last minute decision to go ahead and film this and do this so what I actually need is some leggings right and so I decided I wanted to make my own leggings so what I did was take some nude stockings and cut a portion of the legs and right where the toe was I cut that part as well so that's where the toe the toe goes I cut it and yes yeah, so we are actually going to use this for leggings and what I'm going to do is just like I did the wig here I am going to cut a couple of these it's going to end up looking like this yes and we're going to hot glue it on to make the leggings um, stand out now the hardest part of creating these things is when you cut the yarn which is the homespun yarn which is very soft perfect it's almost like hair um, when you cut it you have to take the thread out there are two threads inside um, actually one two two threads inside and one out right okay so real quick these are this is everything cut out that I think I believe that I will need there are 30 of each color um, by the time they are de-threaded and broken in half they'll be cut in half um, then I will have of course 30 for each stocking for each legging that I'll be creating okay so for the de threading part um, I am trying to show you guys this with my camera so hopefully I'm not screwing this up um, do you see this thread here it's right there and this is actually the outer thread for this one so you pull that thread and then inside there is another or two more threads do you see it right there that is two threads and then you pull that thread and after all three threads are done you come out with you come out with this all de-threaded now I just have 89 more to go yeah 
Okay, so I am back and here are all the threads de-threaded. So here's the yarn th de-threaded and yeah, we are on to the next step. And so um, the next step will be like this. Hi everybody, so I'm back and yeah, I changed my mind on a couple of things from last night and I went ahead and got some gloves so I can create the hand part. Um, I also picked up some leg warmers that were already kind of fluffy that had fur on them and what I'm going to do is probably add these in different spots to um, give the color to it. If not, I may go to Hobby Lobby and get some gray fabric paint and um, just spray, you know, spray a little bit in with the gray. I'll see. I'm not sure. I'm going to show you the gloves actually after they're finished. And here are the hand gloves that um, I decided to do instead of like trying to um, put these on the leotard I wanted to get some gloves that can be taken on and off um, with that so um, what I cut when I cut the yarn I had enough to um, make the gloves front and back so now all I have to do is comb it out uh, so it will look like the tail and like the um, wig and then the tail needs a rope to be able to wrap the tail around her waist so I have a very, very long rope, or should I say some yarn, and I'm actually going to just braid it. I'm gonna braid them to make her little rope, and um, that will attach to her tail. Here are the hand gloves fluffed out, combed out. See the difference in that, in that, yeah. So later on the day, I actually um, took the unitard and uh, got some fabric marker and I went ahead and made the markings for the costume for the cat, um, the cat markings in the front. And I used a um, black marker, a brown marker, and a yellow marker. The black marker, I kind of tried to lightly color um, the markings to make it a little bit of a gray tone and it turned out really good. And then I decided, wait a minute, I need to make it a little bit more authentic and I wanted to add the hair that's kind of on the chest um chest and shoulders of the unitars on most cat costumes so that's me showing you that and then we finally hit sunday and that's me actually getting the model together um putting her hair back in order to put the headdress the wig of the cat's costume to bring it all together her makeup is already done. She looks amazing. My makeup artist, Brandy Ann Fowler here in Houston was able to come out and take care of all the models for the Broadway, um, the Broadway shoot. So I'm glad that she was able to come out and do it. Um, when I put the headdress on, everybody went nuts. It looked, she looked flawless, just amazing. And I was, I have to say, I had to pat myself on the back because that costume came out perfect i even got um cats from broadways the actual official cats from broadways um sent me a thing saying that they thought it was i did a good job and they liked um the instagram photos and stuff like that which i was really happy about so um yeah this is her just modeling the the costume and me snapping the fit the pictures and just having a good time and us all just laughing about everything she did an amazing job the model here is named maggie and you will never guess that she is 13 years old how awesome is that so i thank you guys so much for just checking out um, me making this costume or the process of me going through it i'm sorry about the footage um, the next costume that you will see um, hopefully my footage will be a lot better i will actually pull out my other camera um, to get it done and yeah, I can't wait to show you that one. Um, here are photos of the other ones that shot throughout the day. Um, like I said, it's Broadway inspired. So we have the Phantom of the Opera, we had Wicked, and we had Elf the Musical. And that was just the first part. On the 18th, we'll shoot the others and you'll be able to see those. I thank you so much. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye-bye.